Welcome to Introduction to Complexity. This is a tutorial video for homework number one, the beginner's option. Go ahead and open the NetLogo model labeled multiple ants.nlogo, which is available in the course materials section of the website. Once it comes up, the interface should look like this. And you can go to also the info tab to read about the model, as well as the code tab to see how the code is written and to change the code. So first, let's just walk through the model and see how it works. Start by pressing Setup, and then press Go. And wow, we see that the model is running very quickly. So the first thing we should do is slow it down, go up to the speed slider at the top of the screen, and we'll move it over to the left just a little bit, and run the model again. Press Setup again, and the first question in the homework is to change the size of the ants. So in NetLogo, all the agents are referred to as turtles. In this particular model, the turtles are ants. So turtles and ants are synonymous. Don't get confused by that. So we'll go to the setup procedure, which is the first procedure in the code, and find where it says set size, and we're going to change that from one to two. It's as simple as that. We can check the code to see that it's error free, which it is. And we'll go back to the interface, press setup again, and now you can see that the ants are a little bigger. So I can press go to stop the model. Then the next question is to eliminate the labels. So if we go back to the interface, you can see that each ant has a little um, numeric label, which refers to how many patches it has eaten. So we're going to eliminate this label. So again, go to the code and scroll down to the Go procedure and find where it says set label food eaten. And we'll just comment this out. And to comment something out, you simply type a semicolon before the line. And that grays out the line. And it is no longer part of the code, but you can still see it. And you can still always bring it back by deleting that semicolon. So we'll go back to the interface, press setup, press go, and you can see that the labels are now disappeared. So the next question is to change the color of the ants depending on how much food they have eaten. So go back to the code, and just below that last line, we'll add another line. So we'll insert the cursor here, and then we'll write a true-false statement, and then a command statement. So first, let's say if food eaten is greater than 2, and that's either true or false, then the command, which requires that it be in brackets, will be to set the color blue, close bracket. Let's check that. Looks OK. And we'll go to the interface. And now we can see some of the ants turning blue after they've eaten more than two patches. So now we're asked to, again, um, change the color of the ant when it has eaten more than four green patches. So this will be basically the same code. If food eaten. greater than four bracket set color yellow close bracket whoops that's a bracket check go back to the interface set up and go and you can see now that there are some yellow ants as well so we have red blue and yellow ants a variety of different fed ants and that concludes the beginner's section of homework one.